But there are two treasure chests here. We get Darkness Helm and Darkness Gloves. Let's go ahead and put those on Cecil. Now these, and this is something that I've, I've never liked. If you look at status here, what has he got? 17, 13, 14, 7, 2. You guys gonna remember that? If you equip the darkness there, his defense goes up to 20 and 2, and then his status, those stay the same. Sometimes there are, there's gonna be equipment that raises your stats, and they're not gonna tell you. It's kind of a dip move. Er, either one? No, they're all the same. Oh well, we'll just move on then. Let's head up here, in through the door, in the cave, and we've made it to the lake. Now unfortunately it looks like Rydia is out of arrow, so I put her back onto the staff which Tele came with. Here we find Darkness Body Armor and another Ether. Let's go ahead and put that, um, that armor on. There it is. 23-3. Anything go up for it? No? Okay. Maybe it's just too early in the game for that still. Let's head through here and... Oh, do you guys see what I see? I see tentacles coming out over there. So hold on and let me make my final preparations here. I think I am ready. Let's take on... He's coming. The enemy that Telefor told us about. Octomom. Really? Octomom? I forgot that his name is Octomom. We must take down the Octomom. Now, of course, Cecil, all he can do is fight. So, let him do that. As for Rydia, we are finally going to see Chocobo. Go, Chocobo. And you go ahead and use Lightning. Uh, even though he's technically got eight arms here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's definitely eight there. Uh, it, it still counts as one enemy. Optimum has 2,350, really, 2,350 HP. So he, he's definitely going to be pretty damn tough. He should be able to finish the job, though. Let's go ahead and attack, and then Chocobo, like... Chocobo, I believe it does do more damage than lightning. We're, we'll check right now, though. Just in case. Yeah, it still does more damage than lightning. And we're already... Yeah, every time you get, I believe, 150 damage in, he loses a tentacle. Somewhere around there. Uh, maybe it's a little bit more than that. So you... No, you use Chocobo. I swore lightning was like the most effective against him. But really, Cecil's the one that's carrying the load for everybody. Tully did warn us, though, that, uh... Nice, 175. There we go. Tully did warn us that his magic was not good against it, so... I have to assume that Octomon was just, uh, strong against magic. Let's go ahead and... Need to call again. Good job! Thank you, Tella. He's slowing down! He's only got two tentacles left. We haven't even need to heal or anything yet. Yeah, Tella is uh, pretty much almost useless in this fight compared to everybody else. <laughs> you know, we're getting. Oh, even Righty is doing double the damage right now. Down to just one tentacle. And considering how much damage we're doing, it's, uh, it's not a, a hard fight. Chocobo, go again for the win. Should uh, this should finally uh, put him down? Should be the last little run through here. Random slowdown for no reason. Go lightning! Down he goes. Until I end up finishing him off, we get 500 gil and 400 experience. That is greatly appreciated. Now, we can go to Damsian from behind this waterfall that leads to the exit. Awesome. I don't like even need to heal or anything after that. So, let's move on and our next destination is right here. What the hell? 
Are those the Red Rings? No! Damn it, they bombed Hemsian! No! No! Okay, now we get into a battle with imps. Really, game? Really? With those guys easily defeated, let's head into Damsian to try to figure out what's going on. How you doing? You're not doing so well, are you? Uh, dude? Dude. Is there anything over to the left and right? Maybe... no. Nothing, nothing over there. I was thinking there'd be towers. Usually, these kinds of, uh... These kinds of castles have towers, but they do not in this game, apparently. Not not all of them. So we go inside. They took the crystal! No! Not the other crystal! Terrible bombardments from the airships. Yes, they are terrible, aren't they? Let's head up here. Oh, wow! Huge-ass treasure room! The everything's already taken! Except for this one over here, which has a tent. So I'll take it. Are you guys all dead? There's a pot of recovery above. Awesome. Ter <laughs> yes, your bad translation has been repeated. Thank you. Oh, who's the girl? That's Anna. No, Anna. In comes. Who the hell are you? You're the bard. You did this to her. And it's battle time. We're up against the bard. You swindler! Tell her, how'd you get a full heal? Please, listen! <laughs> yeah, tell her sucks. You spoony bard! Please! What the hell's a spoony bard? I still don't know. To this day, I have no idea. Shut up! Tell her, you should probably cast magic. That'd probably be a good idea. Listen! I can't control any of this, by the way. There, he finally did some damage. Shut your mouth! I beat you with my ice rod. I... I... Please, stop! And battle over. 15 damage done. God, his... That bard sprite looks so bad. Are you alright? Father, Edward is the Prince of Damsian. He was disguised as a bard when he came to see me in Kaipo. Forgive me, Father, for running away. But I love Edward. We thought of asking for your consent, but when we were about to leave... Edward, yeah. I was like, who's Edward for a second there? He's the Prince. Govez attacked us with Baron's red, red wings. Who is that man? I don't know. But why? He took our crystal of fire, and Anna shielded me from the arrows. Why? I mean, I guess because you're the prince. You loved him that much. Father, forgive me. I love Edward. Anna! Anna! No! Anna! Who is Golbez? I heard that he's gathering crystals using Baron's red wings. And then he cries because he's a bard. Stop crying. Your tears won't bring you back, Anna. Wait for me, Golbez. I'm coming to avenge my daughter. You can't go alone. I don't need any help. This is my own affair. Tella left. Anna. Yeah, we lost his daughter and he just runs away. He doesn't even care about a funeral or anything. He just wants revenge. <laughs> crybaby! When a, when a four-year-old tells you you're a crybaby, you're a crybaby. You are a man. You are a grown-up. You are not the only one who has lost loved ones. Right, yeah. You may be right. I'm just a coward, but I don't care. I'm staying here with Anna. Damn! Everybody's just slapping everybody around in this game. You're not the only one who is sad, Edward. Besides, Anna won't be happy if you do that. We really need your help. Please come with us. My help? I'm Cecil. I'm looking for the Sand Ruby to help my friend who is ill in Kaipo. And I need your help. I? 
help you? Yes, you. She seems to be an important person. You shouldn't lose your loved one. Sand Ruby is made from the ant line when it lays its egg in the cave. The cave is in the east, but we must go across shallows to get there. There is the hovercraft in Dam Sand we can use. We can also go to Kaipo through the shallows. Let's hurry. And Prince Edward has joined as a bard. Sorry, the, the hovercraft gets me every time. I mean, like, we're in the Middle Ages, there's magic, everybody's got a sword, nobody's even got a gun, but they've got hovercrafts. You know what I mean? Like, I was, I was okay with the airships, even though that's stretching it, but really, a hovercraft? Goodbye, Anna. I don't even know. Like, we still don't really have hovercraft. I mean, we do, but... Like, they don't work that well, if you ask me. They don't, they don't work on the sand, as far as I can tell, but now we do have a hovercraft. And we will have to use this hovercraft next time. I didn't follow scuba. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I've been joined, as always, by... Cecil, Radia, and Edward. We, we just got Edward. We did have Tella, but he kind of ditched us. Yeah. Just, ugh, ditched us. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>